Hi everyone! We're thrilled to introduce the Qualcomm Dragonwing IQ9075 EVK, Qualcomm Technologies' latest Dragonwing IoT Evaluation Kit. This kit is a powerful evaluation platform built to test the Dragonwing IQ9075, our most powerful processor for IoT solutions. It features an 8-core CPU, a 100-dense TOPS NPU, and a dedicated GPU, making it ideal for high-performance edge AI applications. The EVK also includes 36GB of RAM, 128GB of UFS flash memory, a built-in independent MCU, and a wide range of interfaces and expansion capabilities. With this kit, you can prototype high-performance IoT solutions from robotics and drones to autonomous systems and on-device AI. You can test and prototype your software and hardware designs with less effort and cost and get your product to market faster. Now, let's unbox the kit and see what's inside. The device comes with a bottom enclosure, plus a lid you can install if you prefer. Let's take a look at the connectors on the device. For power, the device supports a 12 volt to 36 volt barrel jack, and the kit includes a Type-C adapter along with a power supply. Next, let's look at the USB connectivity. On the side, there's a micro USB connector for debugging UART logs for tools like PuTTY and for automation control. On the front, there's another micro USB that supports high-speed USB in both host or device mode. Next to it, there's a USB Type-C connector. This super speed USB port works in host or device mode and is the main port for software downloads and ADB connection to a PC. Continuing on, we have another USB Type-C connector, which works in host-only mode and connects to a SuperSpeed hub. For networking, the device includes a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet connection on an RJ45 port. There's also a UHS-capable SD card slot for storage. The display options include a display port with dual mini DP connectors and a DSi Flex connector. For expansion, you'll find a PCIe by 4 connector with an open back to accommodate larger cards running at Gen 4 speed. Cameras are supported with four CSI flex connectors. For audio, there's an onboard digital microphone, as well as a header that supports stereo speakers. The board also includes a JTAG debug header. Now, let's check out the switches on this board. We have a main on-off slide switch, a software-defined push button, a main dip switch to toggle between EDL and fastboot modes for both main domain and MCU, and smaller dip switches for rerouting signals to mezzanine boards. For visual indicators, the board includes an orange power LED, a green PS hold LED, LEDs for Ethernet, and an RGB user-defined LED. For Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, including Bluetooth audio, there's an M.2 slot with the NFA 765A module, as well as coax cables to onboard printed antennas. There are four 120-pin high-speed connectors for routing high-speed signals to mezzanine boards, including PCIe, DSi, CSI, SGMII, DisplayPort, and other high-speed and low-speed signals. We've gone through the major components on the board. Now, let's power it up. First, plug in the power, and turn on the power switch. To use it as a single board computer, connect a monitor using the DisplayPort cable or a DisplayPort to HDMI adapter. Plug in a mouse and keyboard into any front USB port. Connect to Wi-Fi and you'll be able to launch a few sample apps right away by clicking the Q icon. To use it as a hosted device, just plug in the USB 0 port to a host PC and bring up ADB. The device comes preloaded with Qualcomm Linux version 1.5, and Ubuntu Desktop will also be available for download. To explore all the features of this kit, check out our video using the VS Code IDE. Thanks for watching.